Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Shake Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you why the Dead Zones on the Razer Wolverine version 2 Pro controller on the PlayStation 5 is terrible. So let's go ahead and jump to the video right now. So I have this new $250 Pro controller that's essentially useless because the Dead Zones by default are way too large. So I have this other controller by AIM, which is just the standard PlayStation controller, and the dead zones are whatever the controller is. But on this controller, they add an additional dead zone that's like 20% to the controller. So in Call of Duty right now, if I go to settings and I tab over here, and I go to controller and I go to my inputs, my dead zone, you can see my right thumbstick is 0.15 for the dead zone. And if I try moving with this controller right thumbstick, you can see how much I have to actually move it before there's actually any kind of movement on the screen. Now in Call of Duty, it's fine because I do have a slider for this and I can bring down that dead zone. So you can see how much I have to move it. Like that much, which is a huge difference compared to my other controller. So if I go over to the right now and I go to my controller dead zones and I reduce this all the way down to 0 0.0, and then I move around, there is still dead zone on my controller. So they add additional dead zone to the controller for some reason. I think it's to avoid getting stick drift, but in Call of Duty, this is horrible. So you can see. Now if I turn on my other controller and then log in, I do have stick drift, but as soon as I touch my right thumbstick, it moves on the screen. So typically I keep this around 0.05 so let's go up to 0.05 right here and I don't have any stick drift but all I have to do is move my controller very slightly and it's reflecting on the screen so this allows me to be extremely accurate and I just cannot be accurate with the Wolverine Razer controller here because those dead zones are just so large so it's incredibly difficult to just track anything but luckily in Call of Duty, we do have the option to reduce this, but in like Destiny 2, which has a base level dead zone of about well, 23%, which seems to be the average. Well, if they're adding 20% dead zone to this, then you have the 23%. It's like a 43% dead zone. So you're going to be moving your controller thumbstick like this much before it actually moves on the screen. And it's going to be impossible to use your $250 Pro Controller. So right now, this isn't even a Pro Controller because no Pro would use it because the dead zones are way too large. Now, you do have a Razer app on your phone that you can go ahead and get. However, that is essentially useless because there is no dead zone slider in that app as well. So you have to wait for a firmware update at some point in the future. Who knows how long this will be. Maybe it'll be soon, or it could be like a couple years down the line. So if you're buying this at launch, you'll probably have to wait at least a year before there's a solution or enough complaints. So I would not buy this controller at the moment. I would wait at least a year before you buy it, and hopefully the price will come down too. So hopefully this video did indeed help you out. If you did, go and leave a big thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel down below for more tech up videos coming up next on Your Six Gaming.